Hi guys, welcome back to my itch journey and this is obviously Mrs. Y's channel and I'm just a special guest, Mr. Y. So hello to all my Mrs. Y's fans and thanks for watching. If you have not yet subscribed to my itch journey, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. And don't forget at the end of the video, give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. Also, you can follow uh, Mrs. Y's Instagram, and that's her IG, so please go ahead and follow her. Without further ado, as I had promised previously that I will show you both of my other Rolexes in this case, so I am gonna open up the very first box. As you can see, the box difference, the size difference, um, this is my very first watch, and then this is my second one. This, I feel like the box is increasing in size as you continue to get to today's generation of the Rolex box. But this is how it looks like. This was purchased in 2005. So let me go ahead and unbox this for you. And it came with the instruction books. Look how ancient looking the graphic to this one right here pretty ancient but of course this is uh inside the airplane carpets because this is the gmt master 2. so take a look at the box on the outside here first it is a green box it has a soft touch on top here um definitely um i guess i don't know if it's even real leather but it feels like leather texture but anyway so the box is like this it's a wooden box inside and this is my very first GMT Master 2 so this is the Rolex GMT Master 2 the cook design with the black and red bezel the reference number is the 16710 which is one of the longest running reference from the line uh, it started in production in 1989 to 2007 for this particular reference number watch. Definitely looks really nice. Now I'm going to show you the clasp at the back here. Okay, so let me show you the clasp here. So let me talk, uh, let me show you the bracelet and the back here with the clasp. And you open up like this right here. You lift it up. And this is one of the um, older version of the bracelet here, which I'm going to compare and contrast later. But you can see here. Yeah. You can see the inside. Uh, the older version does not have an adjustable uh, bracelet. So let me... The older bracelet does not have an adjustable bracelet. Um, so let me just wear this right now for you. Okay, so I purchased this in 2005 and actually it was a gift from my father. Um, let me just get some information here. <clears throat> Okay, so the authenticity card, it came like this. It was not a card, it's actually a piece of paper. So this is the authenticity card here. You can see it was purchased in July 16th, 2005. So this is like back in the days, they give you these paper certificates. And also there's a, another booklet. For some reason, they give you a calendar as well. Very interesting. So back in the days, I guess this is still relevant. So. Okay, the hang tag here. All right, so before I talk about more specs here, I'm gonna open up my other watch, which is also another GMT. So this one, 
I would say it has an upgraded version of the box already. The care booklet is basically the same kind of uh, booklet that they would give nowadays as well. The box itself is actually smaller than the current, the newest GMT Master 2 box that I have. So this is my GMT Master 2. And this is clearly the black and blue version. Sometimes this is called the Batman. So let me take this out. So I have a little protector. I always keep the protector if I store it in the box. I just put it in the box. So, so I got some extra links and the uh, uh, certificate, right? The little seal. Let, let me pull out the authenticity card. This is definitely a newer version. So this is the authenticity card. And this is the next generation, which is the 2007, the new generation of the GMT Master 2. And this is the 116710, which is the new reference number. And of course the upgrade is the basil is the ceramic, the ceramic basil. So this is a more durable and resistant material than the aluminum basil, which can be scratched and it can fade away in terms of the color. But as you can see, that color that I have here is still pretty crisp because I really uh, wear it with care. I actually had serviced this watch once um, and then <laughs> And then after I serviced this, because I had this one, I purchased this one, um, I wore most of this one. And occasionally I wear this one for people's, you know, attending weddings or some celebration. But usually I would wear this one. And let me show you the bracelet here. Again, this is the Oyster bracelet. But clearly the clasp has been improved than the previous version. And mainly, this is where you can actually make it shorter. Or if you need to have a little extra room, all of a sudden, like after a long flight, your wrist is a little bit bloated or something, then you can give it more slack. So I'm gonna go ahead and rear it. So, when this came out, I totally fell in love with this because of the bezel. So this particular one was purchased back in August 13th. This was actually purchased back in August 16th, 2013. So, wow, this is actually the same day, but different month, of course, different year, 2005, July 16th. And then this one was August 16, 2013. So this particular one, I scored it at Guam when I was on vacation. So very impressive. Went into the store and asked them uh, if they have something like this. And actually they had it on display and it just came in that day. And of course, without any hesitation, I said, yep, I will take this. So it was a lot easier back in 2005 to purchase this one. And this one was purchased in Hong Kong. And uh, let me just talk about a little bit difference between the two here. Okay, so let me talk about the spec of both of these watch. Both of these watch is actually stainless steel finish, 40 mm case size, 100 meter water resistant. Now, this one is discontinued because the basil is the Cook basil with the red and black basil. Vers uh, this is an aluminum basil versus the uh, ceramic basil with the blue and black. Okay, so in terms of the movements for the 16710, this caliber is 3185 movements. 
which includes the quick set function for easy adjustments of the dates display, an independence 24 hour hand, and a 48 hour power reserve. Well, with this newer version, the 116710, uh, it was upgraded to the caliber 3186. Let me just talk about the original price when this watch was first purchased. Um, what a big difference. Back in 2005, this watch was approximately 3,600 USD. And for the market today, if I were to sell this, um, it ranges from $13,000 to um, as high as what I see is $18,000. So it really, there's a big difference. And of course it depends on, do you have the proper paperwork? Do you have the box, the condition of the watch? Now, like I said, this watch, I did have um, serviced it once. And at the very beginning, I actually had a little scratch to the crystal on the date. So that was actually replaced. But everything inside, it was more of like a kind of like an oil change to a car. So, uh, but that's it. And of course, they repolish the um, the bracelet. Now, so interesting is when I serviced it, I never requested for them to polish it, and that service came as a complimentary to the service. Now, for this watch. I should bring it to service soon, and I haven't done it. Uh, this watch was purchased, um, original price, $9,235 USD with tax. And right now, clearly in the secondhand market, it's gonna be over, you're talking about $18,000. So, so if you ask me if Rolex is one of the investment pieces that you should get, Absolutely, because if you look at the 2005 pricing compared to the secondhand market, it can go as up as high as uh, the 400 over 400 percent return. Um, this one, uh, basically, you can say it's already 200 percent return. Uh, but again, it depends on the condition as well. You know, uh, my bracelet is kind of pretty scratched up. So you can see the bracelet is pretty much, there's quite a few scratches on it. Like I said, I never re uh, went for service for this watch and I probably should bring it to a service. But um, recently we have uh, brought Mrs. Wise Rolex for service. So I'll probably do the service for this watch after we uh, receive her watch back. And in the meantime, uh, unfortunately, Mrs. Y is waiting for a an, another Rolex. So hopefully that will come in soon. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit the like button below and feel free to comment if you have any questions for me. It seems like Mrs. Y want me to talk about Rolex every month or so. So I will see you for the next month. Again, if you love Rolex and you love luxury handbags, please consider to subscribe to My X Journey. And I'll see you next month. Bye.